Hello everyone and welcome to this virtual open house for the Tyler area MPO. We're excited to share the plan for upcoming transportation projects in our region, which we're going to cover later in the presentation. But first, we'd like to share some information for anyone not familiar with the MPO. A Metropolitan Planning Organization, or MPO for short, is a local decision-making body responsible for overseeing the transportation planning process. The MPO's role is to gather input from the community regarding the needs of the transportation system. The MPO then develops a prioritized list of projects in keeping with that input. Any transportation project that will use federal dollars to fund the project must be listed in the MPO's plans before the agency constructing the project may receive the funds. There are approximately 400 MPOs in the country, and we are one of 23 MPOs in the state of Texas. The Tyler Urbanized Area was designated an MPO in 1974. The MPO boundary originally covered the city of Tyler, but as the region grew, additional cities became part of Tyler's greater urbanized area. The current MPO boundary was established after the 2010 census and includes urbanized areas and areas expected to become urbanized within the next 20 years. The boundary will be reviewed again after the findings of the 2020 census are published. The MPO is led by representatives from the various governmental stakeholders in the region who are responsible for constructing, maintaining, and improving transportation infrastructure. The role of the MPO's Transportation Policy Committee is to maintain long and short-range plans that prioritize how our limited federal transportation dollars will be spent to best meet our increasing needs. The MPO staff is charged with gathering public input for the policy committee members to consider in their project ranking process. It's important to note that the MPO's authority is limited to planning and prioritization of federal funds. It does not include project design or construction. The projects listed in the MPO's plans will be constructed by the Texas Department of Transportation, who will have separate project-specific open houses to gather input on individual projects. Anyone with comments or questions about the design or construction of the projects listed in these plans should contact the Texas District Office located at 2709 West Front Street in Tyler. This brings us to how transportation projects are funded. The primary revenue source of transportation dollars is generated from federal and state taxes. The MPO's long and short range plans must be fiscally constrained meaning that the plans can only list construction projects that can reasonably be expected to be financed with the revenue that the MPO is estimated to receive. Because transportation funding is dependent on taxes, the state of the economy has a major impact on the revenue forecast. As revenue forecasts change, the MPO must amend its plans to adjust for the revised funding projections. This leads to the short-range plan called the Transportation Improvement Program. You'll hear me refer to it as the TIP throughout the presentation. The TIP provides details on the costs associated with implementing various highway and transit projects that are slated to begin construction within the next four years. The coronavirus pandemic has had a major impact on the state and federal economy. The tax revenues being collected in 2020 are significantly less than the values that were forecasted to be collected. The economic recession caused by the pandemic is forcing all MPOs nationwide to delay construction projects to account for the loss of expected revenue. It should be noted that the new construction schedule is based on current estimates and will likely need to be amended again in the future depending on how quickly the economy rebounds from the pandemic impacts. This table outlines the forecasted project delays. The widening of FM 16 in Lindale and the widening of FM 2493, also known as Old Jacksonville Highway, are being delayed one year to be let for construction in 2022. The widening of FM 756, Paluxy Drive, is being delayed from 2022 to 2024. The Lindale Sidewalk Project is being funded through a federal grant which is not expected to be impacted by COVID, so the project is still listed in 2022. 
The final project is the proposed six-lane widening of Old Jacksonville Highway, which is being delayed to 2026. Because the TIP only lists projects to be let for construction through 2024, this project is being removed from the TIP. This does not mean that the project is being canceled. The project will continue to be listed in the MPO's long-range plan. The last section of TIP amendments involves projects utilizing funds for engineering design and right-of-way acquisition. The table shown outlines projects that are being added to this appendix of the TIP. While construction revenue is down, it is important to continue with the design of various projects to ensure that they are ready once funding becomes available. For instance, if Congress were to pass a stimulus bill for transportation projects, one primary factor when competing for grants is having projects that are shovel ready, meaning ready for construction. This work will help our region be ready to respond once funding becomes available. This concludes our presentation on the draft plan updates. Should anyone want to ask a question or share a comment about the plans, they can contact the MPO staff through the Contact Us page on the MPO website. You can also email the staff at mpo at tylertexas.com or send a written letter to 423 West Ferguson Street, Tyler, Texas 75702. Thank you everyone for participating in this virtual open house.